this is sort of a follow-up to the last dump video <laughs> so um, I decided to take that CPU uh, tower apart and uh, I really took it apart I used my Chicago electric cutoff tool to uh, take the rivets out and you use you grind the rivets down and then you use a punch with a hammer. Always wear your safety glasses, have some nice gloves on. Uh, so what else did I use? Well, my double pliers, some snips, my Gerber knife I always carry, and uh, the old Phillips head uh, coilless screwdriver. So look at all the stuff you get. Um, some of the stuff I use for debris, um, there's the chip, copper and aluminum heat sink, These little boxes are awesome, some crystal oscillators, the chips, another heat sink for the chip, this looks like the front of an old truck, like a Jeep-like truck, yeah, so, uh, uh, in taking the internal riveted portion out, this is of course the uh, um, old drive, uh, three and three quarters drive, or disc drive, whatever they call that, ancient technology. This would be a cool panel. I could still light it up with the LEDs. So I was thinking, uh, this is the power supply. I put it on the outside. That would be cool. So I have this. This could be like an underground bunker, like a missile silo. It could be a secret base. It could be a space station. I kind of like the look of this area for a, almost like if you use the smaller action figure, like a five inch, you, you, or maybe three and three quarters. Um, you could do a submarine type uh, pressure door there, or you could just put something some uh, clear plastic behind it and put different uh, readouts on these things. You do a bunch of readouts there. So, yeah. These like, these like ramps. Give me some decontamination thing. You know, all sorts of interesting things you could do. Then you come up with all sorts of little e guys, doohickeys, what you would call it, screws. These little brass ones. Uh, you can use those as bottle stoppers. Yeah, so here we get a little, that's the end of the rivet, and punch it out. So, yeah, and then I took all that Aromex apart. You got these two cool looking uh, boxes. This is the cover to the box. And switches, all this Aromex, and you got different wire. You guys have your bare copper ground wire. That's why people recycle this. They strip it and take the bare copper. The rest is considered uh, burnt copper, dirty copper. It still has a plastic on it. But you get the best for bright copper. I don't do it, but some people do. By the way, take these feet off. You just push out that center thing from behind. That pops up, and then you can press the compression so it's simple to do these can be all sorts of different things. wheels it could be a, like a cover for a siren or a speaker hmm, all sorts of stuff so don't have a mascot oh for the guy I dug up in the backyard giant footed police guy it's like a I don't know what I am out